Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbe. In this video, I will show you a very quick and easy little one light lighting setup. I'm using this setup in order to warm up my models before the shoot. Yeah, that's very useful, especially if you are using, uh, if you are shooting nude photos and you need to get the model comfortable in front of your lens. Yeah? The model we are warming up today is cousin Emily. And you might go like, hey, come on, cousin Emily, she's so used to photographs, she's a real pro, uh, you don't need to warm her up. But that's wrong, actually. I think it's a very good practice to warm up your model. Yeah? If the model is not yet comfortable in front of your lens or in, in front of your lights, you will read that in her body language and in her facial expressions. Yeah, that, that, is, uh, yeah, that gives you results which you usually don't want to have. So better warm her up and make a sort of artistic uh, shooting with a few little uh, photos up front. Usually you don't have so much time and resources uh, ahead of your actual shoot. That is why I think you should go for a super simple one light lighting setup. Something which is bulletproof, which definitely produces good results, which the model will like, which is very easy to light and which, yeah, which gives you the uh, ability to shoot her nude, but which doesn't show anything. This is what we're going to do. And we achieve that by covering the model with a big piece of silk. So she's hidden underneath the silk. Uh, let's have a look at the actual lighting setup. Uh, we have a simple black backdrop, which is made up out of two black curtains. And those curtains have a gap in the middle, right in the middle. The model is placed in the middle and she's pretty close to that black curtain, one meter fifty away. That's not so much distance. Um, she's covered with a big piece of white silk, yeah, which is thin enough to let some light go through, um, but thick enough to, yeah, under normal lighting conditions, not show anything. Um, the speed light, the one speed light that we use, is placed right in the gap of these two backdrops. Uh, it's in this case a speed light with guide number 58 and it's dialed down to 1 16th of its power, zoomed back to 24 millimeters so it got a, a broad oops, a broad cone of light which um, yeah, which makes sure the light goes everywhere in the silk no matter how the model is, is, is posing. Uh, the camera is a little bit further away, 4 meters or 13 feet and uh, it's on standard settings 200 of a second f11 iso 400 and daylight white balance that's already it and yeah, not so much to set up but it's ideal for yeah for warming up your model not only a shy model the model may or may not wear underwear that really makes no difference what makes a little bit of difference is uh yeah the hairdo if she's tying up her hair that will make for yeah some nice fancy uh shapes underneath the silk uh something some mistake that i made in this little shoot was i had cousin emily wearing high heels and jewelry um it's not such a big difference but on this silhouetted photos um, it, it doesn't really match the emotion of the photos yeah, well, nothing would be much better. Uh, especially if you use a little trick, you can, for instance, turn around the photos 180 degrees, and then it looks like a sort of cocoon. <laughs> and uh, if she's then in this cocoon, it looks like a sort of embryo, actually, an embryo with boobs, but still something like an alien embryo. And then high heels and jewelry, you know, doesn't really match, but whatever. It's just for one up. I don't care. <laughs> you can give your model permission to do yeah. all sorts of weird poses underneath the silk, weird expressions. Uh, that makes her free to later on also do weird poses. Yeah, that that w really warms her up. It's ideal for that because she's so covered. And if if you still say, Michael, bullshit, if you don't need to to warm up your model so much, um, I would ask you to do one thing because then for sure you haven't done one thing. Have somebody taking nude photos of yourself. And I really mean that. Do it. Do it at least one time. I mean, I, I don't blame you if you never did it, but you know, ask, now go ask a photography buddy to shoot some nude photographs of yourself. Yeah? Because this way you experience how exposed a nude model feels in front of a lens. And then you, you will know that even uh, a seasoned pro of a model feels quite exposed and it's a good idea to make her comfortable yeah. and warm her up. Alrighty, enough for this week. Now please click on the like button, click on the plus one button, drop a comment and come back next Thursday. I wish you good light.